Hello everybody, my name is Fernando Pinals and let's check what do I have on my to-do list so oh an array tool okay today we are going to make an array tool uh, it's a pretty easy one to make honestly because it's basically adding up verters uh, having multiple counters having a variable which spaces out two or three depending if you want to also hide uh, four loops and you're done uh, that's the tutorial if you already know what to do then go ahead if you don't then keep watching this video because i am going to basically show so one question you may be asking is how are you going to spawn actors while on editor in unreal engine well that's simple you have events that can run on editor so let's just do that you're only allowed to spawn actors on editor and what you can do on the construction script is spawn uh, components which are like childs of the same actor we are not going to do that today what we're going to do is spawn other actors which you can then manipulate and move them around and whatever you want to do with them we're going to make it with actors because you can basically make so it is uh, an enemy and an array of enemies basically that spawns in or you can make it so it is so it is whatever uh, a very green like forest for example you can also make that for this tutorial we're going to make uh, an actor create an actor and before anything else don't forget this go to class settings and disable run construction script on drag i was going to say we have to disable the run construction script on drag but then i remember that regardless of what you do the construction script will be called every time you move the actor to a new position rotate it whatever in the editor and also in game so what's the no so, sorry in game in the editor so what's our solution our solution will be making an editor utility widget so you know what's going on in the editor but we are not going to do that today so the function that, that i wanted to make that was refresh array we it's basically non-functional it won't work it looks like it should work because it is what makes sense no you didn't kill the object you just move it from one place to another uh, so you already have uh, the references on your list and you can destroy every single wall clear it and then spawn basically a, a delete the array that of already references that we have but it just won't work i research and this way won't work but uh, for the sake of releasing video i'm basically going to show uh, the delete spawn and the spawn array itself how to create it um so i already spoil, spoil a lot but let's start with the spawn array event each and every single one event we're going to activate the call in editor on our edit on, on our details page the call in editor allow us to call that function or that event right here with a button so pretty convenient we're going to also add my case static meshes as i said this can be an actor and it will it will work in fact i'm going to duplicate this and basically refactor it so it will work with an actor what you're seeing right now is me basically speed running the refactoring of uh, basically using an actor instead of a static mesh because that's how i had it before using a static mesh and later in the video i'm going to show literally each step that you are going to need to do so don't worry about this what you just saw was a speedrun basically uh, of me refactoring the code so it works on an actor so we are at the same page 
but it's basically just so you can also see that it is pretty simple to change the type it's not that complicated but we're going to use it on actor because it is going to you are going to basically be able to use this for any type of object that can be spawned on the world our properties are the spawn actor class type we want the class in this case and then one for the x axis one number for the x axis another integer for the y axis we could also make another one for the c axis um, a float for the spacing this is basically going to be how much space is there is in between objects and then we're going to also have an array of actor object references in this case because we are going to basically reference every single thing that is in the world so our delete button works so let's get start uh, scripting shall we as i said every single event is going to be a calling editor we're going to make a, a an for loop for every single axis that we want this to be applied on in this case i just want this to be on the x on and on the y axis sorry i had to make a change basically we're going to make a minus one here for each number for what we're going to check on the last index and that is because we want the designer basically to whatever he's typing in had to be actually be in a number for designers basically zero counting in programming they don't care they don't care they, it's not their business they are artists they are not programmers so we are going to make it so for them they are not going to think oh it's an extra one we're basically are making them escape that process and whatever the, it is that they are expecting two things two things is basically a phone and a glass well it will be two things not another one so that's why we are subtracting a number in each one for the last index that's basically why because the zero counts and just so you realize this uh, we have a two here and when i spawn it spawns them correctly uh, before uh, i did the same thing but making so the starting number is one but what that makes is that it is offset by uh, a single block by the amount of spacing that you're giving it and i don't want that so i basically went ahead and fixed it this way and i think it's much better to do it this way uh, than the other one and well after this tantandrum that i'm basically giving this essay on why we are going to uh, put a minus here uh, we're going to use the index for the first loop and the second loop to multiply them individually um, with the spacing and each number we're going to assign it to the x and y making a vector if you also have height you will do the same for the c axis then we are going to add this vector with the location vector of the um, actor that we just place which is the array actor in this way whatever we are placing in it's basically going to set that up so set every single object so it is at least close or at the same place that you want it to be and then we're going to use our variable to know which actor to spawn uh, the class reference we're going to assign it to class on the function uh, spawn actor owner i made self but this really doesn't matter uh, what this is useful is basically so it knows that is this that the, the object when you're going to delete it it will know that other objects have that object reference but that's to know this object who has spawned it which it is a good information if you then have an object in your game that wants to check that out basically or needs to check that out 
who spawned this? Has this been spawned because of the array, because of a spawner that I have? And this way you, co you could check it. And then we're going to add it to, the, to our list of references of actors already placed in the world. Then for the delete function, for the delete event, we're going to make a for, a for each loop for this list I just mentioned, and then uh, a destroy actor well, on that element. And once that's done, clear the entire list, because now we have pointers looking at something that it doesn't exist anymore. So let's clear that out just in case we we don't want the game to basically broke and with that done i am going to drag out our array which is made our object right here this is the menu the way that i'm hiding all other categories is pretty easy if you want to to do so you can go here at class settings and here on the side at hide categories you can start typing every single category you see that on the details panel is and basically hide it you can also hide the, the location it's pretty easy for example we have here actor if i type actor right here and then compile and save we'll see that actor is no longer on the list so you can make that you can make that so any one who's going to use this uh, blueprint doesn't change something that they don't even know what it means because it is irrelevant so to the function itself i'm explaining myself too much for something so simple uh let's type uh, our blueprint that is in this case i made a simple blueprint with a mesh so we can see it in action I'm going to, for example, make a 3 by 2 spacing 200, that's okay and a spawn array and here we have it. 2 columns and uh, 3 rows pretty simple and pretty easy to use, basically it's just gotta either drag whatever object we want to use here um, and type out how many and the cool thing now is that we can put the panels, the details panel aside, and each object can be manipulated individually. But they all are reference to our array. So if we want to, for example, generate, let's say, enemies and then move them around, I have them all related to one single entity well there you have it you can use the array for that basically because they are all assigned in in the same uh, list uh, here's an example i'm going to move this i am not affecting or neither moving the array because of what i said at the beginning when you move objects in unreal uh, the constructor script is recalled it doesn't basically change the location it reconstructs the entire uh, blueprint so we are not going to move the array because then this feature that i'm about to show is basically absent the array is right here i haven't touched it when i hit the red spawn it doesn't work because it's not that one it's this one <laughs> i was about to say what happened <laughs> okay so when i hit the red spawn they all disappeared now <laughs> i was about to stress out because in real lately is having is giving me problems for no reason but whatever simple we just made an array tool and it is pretty simple to program even if you don't know coding you probably could figure this out but a tutorial nevertheless is a good thing so i hope you guys found this useful and that also you learned something today if you did hit the like button uh, subscribe for more share it with whoever you wanted to share and also uh, follow me on artstatin at bernard Vinyals and on instagram at bernard.exe and till next time